At 5 o'clock, we showed you Jackson Milton kindergarten classes using iPads as learning tools. Now, teachers do limit how much time students spend on the devices. And we talked to a pediatrician about kids, screen time, and when it's time to power down. Here's 27 First News reporter Julie Bursick. M is right here. It's spelling time for Sue Prosy's kindergarten students. Hey, show them. Every kindergarten student at Jackson Milton Elementary has an iPad. The school's been using them for about three years. Rosie says it's a teaching tool. Group activities individually will use them to practice our sight words, our numbers, our letters. Um, there's a lot of great tracing apps. This is the new way to learn. The school's principal says there are other benefits that come with the technology. They have to listen and be able to operate that iPad or the iPad just sits there with nothing on it. The next one. Rosie limits iPad use for her 21 students to 30 minutes. Dr. Aaron Donnelly, a pediatrician at Akron Children, says there are guidelines for how much screen time kids should have. The AAP recommends no more than two hours a day for kids that are two years old and older. Um, and so that's screen time in general, uh, video games, um, TV, computer games, things like that. Um, under the age of two, it recommends no screen time whatsoever. She says the recommendation doesn't take into consideration technology at school. Whether or not to consider that as part of your screen time for the day, is, uh, is a little controversial, I think. She says personal interaction with kids, like reading is best, but adds there are pros to technology. It gives kids a, the opportunity to be exposed to so much more um, than if you're limited to, you know, what's in the book that you have at home. Good job. Back at Jackson Milton, these pint-sized learners have embraced their iPads and apps. They've even used it to look up some information. Julie Bursick, WKBN 27 First News.